The Great Greys of Great Yarmouth. I like that. Hi Ivy, how are you today? Good maybe. Who is that on me? Are you a girl? You got a long hair. Me? Girl? I'm a boy. By the way, I'm a grave covered in ivy. Look, there are people who want to know me. Where's Ivy gone? Who must cut ivy? Ivy, are you okay? I'm okay. See you later. Wait, do you like nuts? No. I like nuts. Ba -doo -ba -doo. <laughs> and this is Ruby. We're best friends. Let's stop talking about ourselves Ruby and get on with the story. And get on talking about this grave. It's a suspension bridge grave. Well, it all happened in the year 1845 when Nelson, a travelling clown, well, went down the river in a bathtub. Pulled by four swans, he made his way to the suspension bridge. This caused all of the children to, my, to go to the other side of the bridge. The bridge collapsed and many people fell into the water. Sadly, 72 died, most were children. Here is one of the most beautiful graves in the cemetery. Graves have many symbols. Each has a significant meaning. A weeping lady is used as a permanent griever for a family or loved one. The weeping willow is a sign of sadness. Ba -doo -ba -doo. <laughs> This is so fun! Hey, stop that Sally Skrull! I'm sorry, I just love this grave. Cool, I've never seen this grave before. Well, would you like to come and sit by me and I'll tell you all about this grave? Of course I would, that would be wonderful. Well, this grave belongs to George Gilbert. He opened up the Hippodrome along Great Yarmouth Seafront. In his circus, he had loads of animals such as elephants, lions, sea lions and many more. Sounds great. He enjoyed performing many tricks on his unicycle. Wow, that's so interesting. Tweet, tweet. Oh, thanks for the explanation. I really enjoyed that. I knew you would like it. Bye. See you later. Now I can play. Whee! Hi everyone, I'm Nutty the Nutter. Hi, I'm the star of the group. My name is... Acorn. Oh, drama queen. Excuse me, you're just jealous of me. That's enough of all the nonsense. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm here to talk to you about David Bassman, a fearsome warrior, unlike someone. Oh, that's cold. We're talking about his grave and story. It says, to the memory of David Bartman, Master of the Bring Alexander and Margaret of North Shields. On the 31st of January, 1781, at the Norfolk coast with only three pounders and ten men and boys, David Bartman nobly defended himself against a cutler carrying 18 four-pounders and upwards of a hundred men commanded by the notorious English pirate, Full! Dun, dun, dun! Four killed David by shooting him with a pistol and he died in hospital. The tomb where most people think they are. They're actually six feet under the tomb. Amazing, huh? Unfortunately, under the circumstances, the grave needs repairing, but it's getting there with lots of help. Woohoo, hi there. I'm Harold of Awesomeness. Oh, look over there. I love that grave, I do. Do you know what that rope around the grave means? If you don't, don't worry, I do. This represents that this is a fisherman's grave. Being a fisherman was a dangerous job. There are many fishermen's graves in the churchyard, so look out for them. Oh, sorry about that. Doodoo. Why, hello there. My name is Simon, 
And that person buried six foot under this grave was a soldier. It is one of the World War I and II graves in this cemetery. I'd better get off now, Toodles. It's a grave to commemorate someone killed by a cannibal. Flashback time! Really? Yes, you asked about the grave. Anyway, this guy was a missionary. Um, speak English, old geezer. My name is Old Acorn, not Old Geezer. A missionary means that you travel to different countries and spread the word of God. You know, I was on the same trip. Are we related or something? Anyway, no you weren't, don't lie. Yes, I'm your great, 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 great grandfather. And to stop interrupting, he was a missionary and she was eaten, or they think. That's the story. Huh? You ran away? I got away from that old guy. Not yet. Ah! Well, here is the end of this story. I've never seen this grave before. Stop lying! Oi, I know when I'm lying. Well, this grave was standing in World War II and a bomb hit the ground and shrapnel went blasting into the grave. People might think it was gunfire as well. The church would not fix it because it was too expensive. Okay. Thank you. Fork. Bins are old. Why? So I can run away. Get back here, you punk kid. You can't make me. I go like this. Oh! It's a fox, eh? It's a fox, eh? Ba-do, ba-do.